What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Hello, bienvenidos. Today we are doing a long awaited foundation review. First of all, I haven't done a foundation review in a while. So this one is definitely long awaited because it's the LA Girl Pro Matte HD Longwear Matte Foundation. And you guys have been requesting this video for a while now and I finally got my hands on it. I am obviously wearing the foundation on my face right now. And throughout this video, you're going to hear my thoughts on the foundation and we're gonna do a wear test flash photo I do half my face with the sponge half with the brush all of that good stuff so if you enjoy really in-depth foundation reviews make sure to subscribe I also have a vlog channel with my fiance Chris I'm gonna leave it right up there and down below in the description box so you can check it out after watching this video but without further ado let's go ahead and jump into this review before we even get into applying the foundation, of course we have to read what this foundation is about. So right now I'm on the LA Girl website and they have 14 shades on that website. When I went into the store to get this, I saw where they were displayed and I feel like they could have had more lighter shades and I feel like they could have had darker shades. Another thing that I noticed with the shades as well is that they look a lot lighter in the bottle than when you actually swap them so don't go based on the color that you see here because the one that I got looks really really light it does not look like it would match me when I put it next to my face like this but when I swatch it it looks a lot more like my color I got mine in the shade medium beige just so you guys know for reference but those are just a few things that I noticed like right off the bat so let's continue reading here so it says with a soft and suede like finish pro matte foundation will have you covered and shine free all day Creamy liquid formula provides smooth and buildable coverage for both day and nighttime wear. Minimize the appearance of pores and fine lines for an even soft focus effect. Based on the description, it sounds pretty good so far, but of course we gotta try it on to see if it is or not. So, like I always do in my foundation reviews, I'm going to do half of my face with a sponge, the other half with a brush, just to see if there's any difference in the coverage. This is what the bottle looks like, and I like the packaging. I like the matte cap, I like the frosted finish, but the thing with the frosted finish is that you can't see the shade clearly. That kind of throws you off a little bit, but I think the overall packaging is pretty good. And it also has a pump, which is also nice, especially for an affordable foundation. And I'm just gonna do, I don't know how thick this foundation, oh, it actually feels kind of liquidy. The first pump is pretty th thin. So I don't know how many drops that was. I was expecting it to be, um, pretty thick but it's not that kind of threw me off there and I did shake it before um, let's see what happens the color is a little light but we can always work with that I'd rather have it a little bit lighter that way I can just bronze but honestly and I just applied this foundation I'm not really getting much coverage. Um, I don't know if you're able to see that, but it's not really covering much. It took away the redness, but you can still see a lot of my acne, especially in person. So instead of pumping it on the sponge itself, I'm going to pump it on the back of my hand and then apply it that way just to see if there's a difference. It might make a difference because this is a second layer that I'm putting on there. Um, but even as I'm tapping this into my skin, I'm still not getting super full coverage. I got a little bit closer. Hopefully you can see what's going on. But uh, besides the color, it is a little bit lighter. But you can see here my acne scars are still peeking through. And this is the second layer that I go in with compared to this side. I mean, it evened out my skin, but it isn't full coverage like it says that it is at least with the sponge it's not so let's let's let this soak let's let this set and mattify a little bit and we'll work on this side with a brush and then we'll try to layer it to see if it makes a difference but if it's a full coverage foundation like you shouldn't have to layer it it should just be full coverage right off the bat I'm going to apply it directly onto the sponge sorry not the sponge the brush and then swipe it on to my skin Okay, with the brush, it's giving a little more coverage, or a lot more coverage, I should say. It gave me more coverage 
once with a brush, then twice with a sponge. So that's pretty good. Got rid of all of that redness. I still see a scar here peeking through, but that's fine. We'll, we're gonna layer it to see if it gives more coverage. It is matte though, I'll give it that. But it doesn't feel dry, my face does not feel tight whatsoever. It's a, it's a good kind of matte. This here is what my face looks like after applying the foundation on both sides. This side right here is with the brush, one layer. This side right here is with a sponge, two layers. So far, I like this side with the brush. I only had to do one layer. It added more coverage, and I like the overall look of this side a lot more. This one, it just is not doing it for me. But now that it did set, let's just, let's just do one more to see what happens. This is not something that I would do, though. If I wanted to wear this foundation, I would not even bother doing the three layers with a sponge. This is probably as good as it's gonna get with the sponge. It's it's fine, it's nice and even. I just feel like the more I work with it, it's just not looking as nice. So one thing I'm noticing right off the bat after this has been sitting on my face for a while, it looks dry in certain areas. Not super bad, but it is really matte. Right now what I'm gonna do is finish up the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back so we can talk more about the product after I've applied other products on top of it and then we'll do a flash photo and then we'll do a check-in at the end of the day. My makeup is all on, now let's talk about it. So 12.20 p.m., that's the time, and I've been wearing this foundation for a little while since I initially applied it, and to be quite honest with you guys, I'm not loving the way that it looks. I feel like on my skin it looks really powdery, and keep in mind, I have oily skin. My skin is not dry anywhere. Um, so for it to look powdery on somebody who has oily skin, I think that says a lot. It takes a lot for foundation to look dry on me. So that just tells you how matte it is. And I was expecting this foundation to have a lot more coverage, especially because they claim that it's full coverage. So when I applied it, I was expecting it to just boom, 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 cover, and then that was it. But I did have to build it up with the sponge quite a few times. So that was kind of like, okay, I don't know if this is as full coverage. With the brush, it was fine, but you can still kind of see the little, you know, acne scars peeking through. But I'm mainly just not loving the way it looks on my skin. It just makes me look just flat, no dimension, just, I don't know. What I'm gonna do is wear this foundation for the rest of the day. Hopefully once my natural oil starts to seep through and I wear this foundation a little bit longer, the better that it'll look. Sometimes that tends to happen, but we'll see. So we're gonna take a flash photo right now to see how it does in flash photography, and then I'll be back in a few hours so we can see how this foundation looks. I'm about to head out to do a 30 minute workout. So I wanted to check in before I work out, obviously. So right now it's already 8.30. I've been wearing the foundation for about eight hours now and this is how it looks so far. I do like the way that it wore after a few hours. My natural oil started to seep through and you can see it got a little bit oily throughout the day, but I just did not like the way that it looked when I first put it on my face. I really didn't. After maybe hour two, it started to look okay, but I don't wanna have to wait two hours, two to three hours for my makeup to look good after my oils like come through. So overall, I don't think that the foundation was a hit for me. It looks okay, but I mean, I don't know. It just didn't do what I was hoping that it would. If I get a little closer, you can see how it looks a lot better. It started to crease under my eyes here. It started to separate around my chin. Don't mind my lips. They look really nasty right now because it's the end of the day. But for the price, I think it works okay. You just have to wait two to three hours. And if you have dry skin, I can only imagine how this foundation would look because if my skin's oily and it looked that matte and that drying on my skin, I I don't even want to know how it looks like on somebody who does have really, really dry skin. Those right there were my thoughts on the newish LA Girl Pro Matte HD Longwear Matte Foundation. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any other questions about the foundation or about my thoughts on the foundation, leave it below in the comment section. I love you all, los quiero mucho, and I'll see you all in my next video.